right guys, so today we are going to be spraying our food plots. Uh, we got the sprayer kind of jerry-rigged up here on the Kawasaki Mule and uh, tested it out yesterday. It works great. Bought this boom sprayer, attached it, and the way that I had to get it to work with this is the way I basically mounted it up, but it's ready to go. Um, got my glyphosate here. This was on sale at Tractor Supply. I believe it was um, in and around 30 bucks, maybe 30, 32, um, but it was on sale. The percentage of glyphosate that's in it is a little lower than I'm used to working at, but all we have to do is put a little bit more in this. I'm getting two and a half times more to spread on my food plots with this setup versus what I've been buying. So I'm pretty excited about that. We're gonna mix this up in a 30 gallon tank. We're gonna head back to the candy shop food plot. We're gonna start spraying that food plot. And I'll talk a little bit more about the plans with that food plot when we get back there. Get in there. That works. All right, so we're out here in the candy shop food plot. As you can tell, it's really changed dramatically over the last year. It was not even a year ago. This was completely covered in timber. The guys with Engel Dirt Works came out and cleared off this area for me, actually removed all the stumps, and we got it done so late in the season that I really had to come in here and really struggled with being able to plant in time to get good moisture and to have the plants mature in time to, you know, feed the deer into the season. I came in, I took some of the eagle seed, smorgasbord mix, threw it out, topically applied it, but I knew it wasn't gonna have the time that it needed to grow, to mature, to really hold those deer through the winter. So I came in wanting to hold this soil together because I have very limited amounts of soil on this food plot because it's mainly all rock. Came in with a rye. I knew it was gonna grow fast. I knew it was gonna green up and was gonna provide deer with some kind of attraction, but it was really gonna hold my soil together and uh, allow me to start building up this soil in this food plot. So that was the main objective right now with this food plot is to come in and build this soil up, build better soil so we can have better food plots and have healthier deer here on the hunting grounds. So even though it's looking good, it grew up really, really tall. This is one of our main turkey hunting spots. I did come in, I brush hogged it. As you can tell, it's still about two and a half foot high on average. We've got a lot of rye, we have some wheat, all the brassicas that have grown up in here, the deer are pretty much completely eaten out. Uh, we do have some clover in here, but I'm completely terminating everything in this food plot. I'm hoping to burn it all up and then what I'm doing here this week before we get rain, we're gonna come in with the Eagle Seed Summer Mix, which has got cow peas, buckwheat, sunflower. It's got a wide variety of mixes in it that we're gonna plant in here. It's really gonna help build up the soil. It's gonna attract the birds, it's gonna attract the deer. It's gonna build a lot of habitat and cover in here. And then as we get into the fall, we'll come in and topically apply um, a smorgasbord mix or probably the eagle seed broadside mix and put it in this food plot and never empty the plate in this food plot. So we got in with the sprayer, sprayed it all down really good and I'm hoping it kills you know, 90% of the stuff that's in here. The clover sometimes can be a little bit harder to kill, so if it doesn't fully kill the clover, I'm not gonna be upset with that because it's not too thick. I just don't want it to be too thick that it's gonna block the summer mix from germinating and reaching its full potential. So what we're gonna do, hopefully it's gonna brown up, everything's gonna remain standing, it's gonna to continue to hold the soil together, it's gonna to provide a lot of slow releasing organic content that's gonna fall down, and as everything's growing up underneath, um, it's just going to change places. So we're gonna get the summer mix growing up as this stuff's decaying down, and then the other objective that I think is going to work for us really good is going to help cover up those seeds when they're just germinating and they're just sprouting out of the ground because there is a lot of cover and uh, hopefully it gives it a little bit of time to really grow up a little bit for the deer start hammering it really really hard and gives it time to grow and mature and really have a great looking food plot here so 
So we're going to do this exact same thing on two other food plots on the very south end side of the hunting grounds. So we're going to go and spray it and we're also going to be planting those in the summer mix. We've got to do and spray for the eagle seed soybean plots and get ready for those as well. So coming up we're going to be no-till drilling soybeans, the summer mix. We've got some clover planting to do. We'll even be spraying some clover, getting rid of the grasses. So we've got a lot of episodes coming up where we're going to educate you on everything that we're doing here on the hunting grounds. So make sure you subscribe and uh, be sure to comment down below. Let us know what you're doing on your food plots and let us know if any of these techniques have worked for you or if you're excited about using them and give a big thumbs up and until next time have a better than average day. Won't you take